Recognize the gentleman from Maryland, Mr. Sarbanes. Thank you very much, Mr. Chairman. Uh, thanks to all of you. I know this is part of your job, coming up here and testifying, but I still always feel guilty um, when you've spent three hours here away from your primary responsibility. So thank you for your testimony. Um, Dr. Walensky, I was gonna talk with you a little bit more about the whole data picture. I know you've answered a ton of questions already today about that, but I wanna understand a little bit better where the line is in terms of being able to build um, a sophisticated and as accurate as it can be model or platform for both tracking and forecasting um, infectious disease, whether it's a COVID outbreak or anything else, um, where the line is between what you can collect through the voluntary cooperation of public health officials, private labs, et cetera, and what you can't really do without the authority to force that. I am, as, as I ask you that question, I'm thinking about the dashboard that Hopkins built, which became a go-to place for many of us and, and billions of impressions, people all over the world, uh, using that to kind of see the heat map when it came to COVID spread across a number of different categories and measures, uh, which my sense is was largely being done by rolling up publicly available data in many places, qualifying it where it needed to be qualified or disclaimed uh, so that people consuming it understood you know, how much weight to give it on a particular day, um, but became a fairly reliable go-to picture of what was happening. Um, but to the extent you've you signaled that you need more authority to build the kind of robust data platform um, and collection, the vehicle um, that you'd like to see. Describe maybe in a little more detail, maybe an example or something of, of where that line is and uh, why working with the toolkit you have right now just isn't sufficient. Great, thank you for that question. So I, I bucket it into two different areas. One is our data modernization efforts. That is building the highways. Our, can, you, can your jurisdiction, your district, um, send data to CDC um, in the similar way that the one next to you can send data to the CDC, and then CDC can rapidly receive it and give it back to you so you can see what's happening in the, in the districts around you. That's a data modernization issue. We are working on that. It is because we lacked that modernization, those data highways, that we only had 187 healthcare facilities in the country that could pre provide us with data uh, electronically on, on COVID. Um, we're now up to 22,000. Those resources are being put to good use, and we have numerous examples of how we've been able to use those highways for MPOX reporting and many other things. Once those highways are built, and we will need more resources to build robust highways across this country, we have another challenge, and that is do the cars drive on the highways? Right now, we only, have, we only um, receive those data that are voluntarily reported in the absence of a public health emergency. So you're exactly correct. The Hopkins website does data scraping, web scraping, so that they can see what's publicly available. We at CDC would like the gold standard of what's happening at the states because it's reported from the states, but we only get that voluntarily. Even today, I can't tell you how many people have been vaccinated in the hospital. We don't have data systems that can do that. We don't have authority to collect it, and it's not voluntarily reported. So after this public health emergency is taken down, we are currently, again, working through data use agreements. Um, we will lose data on testing, um, so, and we, are, we will lose data on some data on immunizations. We're working through data use agreements, but that's just one infection. That's just one infectious disease. And so that leaves us really vulnerable if we don't have reporting coming to the CDC on what's happening in influenza and what's happening in RSV and what's happening on many of these other... Let me ask you, on, on the hospital front, I mean, uh, obviously HHS and other agencies have leverage with respect to hospitals based on all kinds of other um, engagements. Are you saying that leverage can't be used to pull data in from from those places, you have to have a separate 
authority to do that? Um, well, first of all, we would have to rely on partnerships with other agencies, and that's exactly what we did through the uh -huh. public health emergency, um, and we are receiving some of those data through the public health emergency. Um, but we don't have that authority independent of, of relying on those partnerships, and it's not as robust, not necessarily the data that are collected for purposes of CMS may or may not be all of the data that we need for purposes of tracking a new outbreak. Uh -huh. Okay, thank you. I yield back.